Hi everybody, this is Lee Arnold, the CEO of Kogo Capital, here at our Ninth Street property up in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Now, we were just at this property a few weeks ago when it was in its infancy. We were just doing our baseline inspection, making sure that we had a, a good understanding of what was what and what was where. And you can already see that the property behind me has changed. We've got the trim painted. Uh, we've got um, the landscaping cleaned up at least. There were some large shrubs over here that have now been removed. And as you can see, I'm standing on dirt which used to be weeds. The investor on this property, or the borrower, has now requested that we do our first round release to the contractor for the work that has been completed. And as you know, every time a draw request is, is requested from the borrower, we now need to come onto the property and do what's called a progress inspection, which we use a company called Construction Inspection Specialist, or CIS. So I'm here on property waiting for the inspector from CIS to come and join us and to go through the list that we've received from the contractor verifying that indeed the work has been done. Now as you guys know as you're doing these rehab projects from around the country, I'm not personally going to come out and inspect every property with you, nor am I going to have um, uh, staff on site. So we are relying solely on the opinions and the photos that our inspectors are taking when they come out to these properties. So I'm going to actually have you join us as we go along with our inspector and he verifies that yes indeed the work has been done, takes the photos that we request. All of the inspector information will then be sent back to the corporate office up in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, at which point then if the inspector says all is well, then we will release fees to the inspector. So that said, let's get our inspector over here. Uh, I want to introduce you guys to Shay from Construction Inspection Specialist. He was here with us last time. Shay, good to see you again. Good to see you, Lee. It's Thank, good to be here. Thanks for being here. Yeah, okay, so they've made some progress. Yeah, it's looking looks, good, isn't it? It is. They've, they've done a, done a lot of work uh, in the last few weeks. They've really done a good job. So I've got two separate requests from the contractor. He wants us to release thirty-seven hundred and fifty dollars on the first invoice. And then he wants us to release $3,900 on the second invoice. So you are our eyes and ears, Shay. Yep. We're waiting on you to tell us, did they get the work that's done? And are you giving us the authority to release funds? So I'm going to turn it over to you, and you tell me what we're doing. Well, what we'll do is start out. It looks like, uh, just going through the, the, the request here, it's been all exterior projects and on the garage. Okay. So what we'll do is go through and uh, take a look at all the specific items they have listed and uh, check to see if they've been completed. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, now, the first proposal I'm looking at, it says uh, Demo Yard. Is that the one you got? Okay. Demo Yard. Yes, right. correct. So for those of you at home, they were going to remove all but the maple trees, remove the deck and the hot tub, remove the old fence, prep the lawn for irrigation, hallway and dump, as well as grind some stumps that we had over on the uh, east side of the property. Uh, all of that was $3,400 plus grinding stumps at $350. So the total release request here is $3,750. So, Shay, why don't we start with in this invoice and let's go around and verify that this work has indeed been done. Okay, first thing I want to do, even though I've been here before, I want to verify that I'm at the right address. Okay. And I'm just going to check, and I think we came up with the address on the back last time we were here. Nothing's posted uh, up front. Uh, there was a mailbox somewhere. Yeah, and for those of you. Remember, last time we were here, one of the things that we suggested you do immediately is get the house number on the front of the property so that we know we are indeed at 1875 East 9th Street, and it's still not here. So that's going to make it very difficult for us to verify that this is the right address. Yeah. So, Shay, I think we did it with a, a mailbox. <laughs> there was a, there time. was a mailbox, maybe with the prep work of getting uh, uh, taken hauling away all the dump. Uh, it got hauled away, maybe. Okay. And, uh, we do know we're at the right address. Uh, there's a way we can look at the back on the, the electrical meter that will verify that. Okay. But, uh, what I first want to do is just take a step back, take a photo of the front of the okay. house, and walk around, look at our trim, or look at uh, the maple tree, that the uh, only item that's been left in the yard, which has been trimmed up and it looks good. Okay. I think last time I was here, there was so much uh, bush, trees. Couldn't oh. get a photo of the front of the, the front of the house. Yeah, you couldn't even see the front of the house. So they've done a great job in opening up the sight lines of the property and and helping us better see the curb appeal that the property has to offer. Yeah. Well, it's uh, 
I know on this side of the house, the, the west side, there was uh, uh, old hot tub material down the yard here. It looks like it has been uh, uh, removed. Okay. So debris removed, deck and hot tub removed. I want to usually do the same sequence at a house. Okay. Start in the front and just rotate around, taking the proper photos. Okay. This is where a lot of the debris was. Looks like it's all been removed. Yep. Looks good. Okay. Trim is on the other uh, request. Let's stay on the first one here. Okay. Um, again, back here, we do have a few, a little bit of debris left that was on here uh, for removal. Holloway dump. Uh, I don't know if they're saving that to go to the scrapyard to get a little return on that. Well, I actually think that that came off of the garage, which is another bid. So it, oh, exactly, you're right. We'll want to make sure that we, we withhold funds on the other release until we get that removed. That was for the garage. But uh, if you recall, the last time we came up here, we stepped up, and there was actually a deck area right here with an old hot tub. Hot tub. Under it. Uh, and now you can see it's just a dirt pad. So I think mm -hmm. we can check off that the hot tub and the deck have been removed. Correct. Uh, then they also had the removal of an old fence, which was actually over in this area. And I think it's pretty mm -hmm. obvious that that's gone. Fence is gone. So do we need to take a picture of that then? Yeah, I'm going to take a, a couple different shots in this back area here. Okay. I'm just trying to get all angles of the house. Yeah, let me get out of your way here. In all areas that the progress has been taking place. Again, coming to the east side here, you can see that they have uh, grounded down uh, uh, a stump there and okay. uh, have started the prep work for uh, uh, proper landscaping. Okay, so remove old fence, check. Uh, prep lawn for irrigation. Uh, and what that means is that we needed to get it down to the dirt level so they can mm -hmm. come in with their trencher and install the, the uh, sprinkler, the sprinkler system. Line. Yep. So it looks like that's ready to go. And I'm not seeing any debris laying around, so the next item was haul away and dump the debris, which I believe they've done. And then uh, the last item on this was to grind the stumps, which they have done. Yep. Okay. We'll keep uh, taking a couple more photos on this east side. On this first uh, uh, progress uh, inspection, on this first draw, I think they have accomplished everything. Okay. So what you're now going to do, Shay, is you're going to send these photos. You're going to put them in a nice report for us, um, and then you'll send those over to the corporate office. We'll get them with your recommendation to release. Yes, correct. Okay? All right. So for those of you watching at home, the inspection on this is done. Shay's telling us that he's verified that the $3,750 worth of renovation repair work has been completed. Uh, and as a result of receiving his report, which would take 48, 72 hours, roughly? Yeah, three roughly. Four three or four days. Okay. I, I put tops on four. Depend, okay. you know, obviously okay. a weekend should, in between there would uh, okay. delay something, but right. uh, four days top. Okay, now the timing here is important, you guys, because you need to communicate with your contractor when they can anticipate payment. Now, for some of you, this will be a reimbursement of expenses that you've already incurred, so the check would be cutting directly to you. Uh, in other instances, we'll be cutting the check directly to the contractor, but just be aware of the timeline from us receiving it at corporate to the check being received or arrived. Also, if you would like to expedite the receipt of these funds, you can pay a premium. Uh, you can pay the wire fees, and we can get the money out to you a little quicker. Uh, so do inquire about that when you contact the uh, fund oversight um, accounting department at the office. All right. Well, uh, looks like we're done with that one. Should we go to the next one? Yeah, let's take a look at the next drop. Okay. So for those of you joining us from home, let me just show them what we're doing here. As you can see here, uh, the next inspection report is we're going to paint the garage, the body, and the trim. We're going to paint the trim only on the house. 
we're going to frame in the slider on the garage, we're going to repair the siding on the garage, and we're going to do a lead test kit. Also, uh, the paint will be computer matched and a $300 disposal fee if lead-based paint is present. Now, I have not heard anything from the contractor related to the lead-based paint. So, uh, have you heard anything? That's uh, probably something that I probably wouldn't get back to me on. Okay. Um, All right. So, for that reason, I think what we need to do then is we will just uh, delay the $75 on the lead-based paint kit as well as the deposit or the $300 disposal fee. So, they're requesting a release of $3,900. Clearly, there's nothing we can do with the lead-based the lead test kit. Now for you guys, if you're working with your contractor here, you would need to go to your contractor directly and say, where's the lead kit? Um, then we could release the 75 bucks. But since we don't have that, the max that we would release here would be $3,825, not the full 3,900. So just be aware okay. of that. Okay. Well, on this, uh, this draw that you just went over, uh, we still got a couple items on the house, the trim. Okay. So let's walk around the house again, look at the trim. We'll take a couple close-up photos uh, uh, just so that uh, we, we can see uh, the progress on the trim. Okay. Yeah, I remember the last time we heard the trim was blue. Uh, now they've made it brown, which, which really looks a lot better. Uh, it looks like they also got the soft and the fascia brown yeah. as well. Maybe. And the columns. And the columns, the... yeah. They painted up the columns. Yeah, that looks great. Looks like the, the east side here has been accomplished. Okay. So east side, we got 25% done. Now the house is a front facing, so we're, hit, we're at the south end. South end. And uh, Lee, I can see at the top up here, uh, right up at the, the peak on the fascia board that we still have some unpainted oh, yeah. boards. Yeah, um, let's, let's get a close-up on that because clearly, guys, you can see uh, that piece of fascia is not done, which means we will not be able to release 100% of the draw request on that. Oh. Coming around, now we're uh, heading to the west side. And again, Lee, we have uh, uh, some unfinished trim uh, fascia board okay. that hasn't been completed yet. Yeah, let's get a shot of that because you can see right there along this ridge line, which is really interesting that they missed that because that's actually an area you can get to pretty easily just by standing on the roof of the house. So why they yeah. forgot to do that, I don't that, know. I'm not sure. Maybe. But this is a really good example, you guys, of why we have inspectors come out and do this on site. It's as much for our protection, our investment protection, as it is for your protection. Because if you're trying to do one of these projects from across state lines or, or long distances from your primary residence, this is the kind of thing that contractors think they can get away with. And our inspectors will verify that it's done. So that's a great catch. So let's take a look at the back and make sure uh, we don't have any other missed uh, trim. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm seeing that on this piece of fascia here, you can see that there's still some exposed. Yeah, yeah there's some more, uh, some more unfinished. And maybe they just didn't have a tall enough ladder. We don't know. Yeah. But uh, uh, obviously, we got some unfinished uh, painting uh, okay. off of this uh, draw request. Okay, that sun has brightened up. I'm yeah, that's put on my shades here. It feels good to, to have the sun out again. Yeah, it does. Actually, your painters, it was rained yesterday, is why it didn't yeah. finish it up. Yeah. Like we told. Um, it doesn't look like it's been updated or repainted, but I don't see an issue with it, Lee. Uh, they don't, there, there's no peeling paint. It looks like it's in good shape. They must uh, that must be their tie downs that are coming down up off those. They must have yeah. tied down right there. <laughs> All right, here we go. I can see. Okay, you can see where they made halfway progress. Yeah. They may have had to, maybe they they stopped early for the day. I'm not sure, but you can see where they've painted up, 
and stopped halfway. I think that's what those ties are yeah. to say to whoever's coming next that you need to finish that area there. Yeah. So okay, and they still need to get the windows, so they haven't done anything on the back side of the house. Back side still... looks like they're still in progress, exactly. Okay. So as far as uh, uh, painting trim only on the house, it's a $1,600 draw. I would say uh, being the, the, the areas that they're 50%, maybe okay. a little more, maybe 60, but uh, um, it, it's one that I would definitely be putting down incomplete as far as me being here right now today. Okay, so your recommendation then is based on your site inspection, they are 50% complete? On the house portion, okay. on this draw. So unfortunately, guys, as you can see here, the request from the contractor is from $1,600, but because we're only 15% complete, we will only be able to release $800 on this project, which is really unfortunate because uh, I know that this area suffered a pretty substantial rain storm yesterday, just poured, um, and the painter wasn't able to finish what they have. So it would have been much better for you to call our office and say, hey, can we postpone the on-site inspection for two or three days so that the work was indeed complete? Because now your contractor or the replenishment of your funds, it could now be another two or three weeks before we can get somebody like Shay back on property to sign off on this stuff. So don't request these on-site release draw inspections until the substantial work that you're showing us has indeed been completed so that we can re release the full draw. Okay? So that's unfortunate they didn't get that done. Right. What else we got here? Well, the rest of the this on, on this sheet uh, is all revolving around the garage. Okay. So we'll take a, a, a walk around the garage and take a look. Uh, let's just update uh, paint garage body. Uh, as far as our visual here, it all looks painted. Yeah, they did a good job And on paint it too. the it trim. Nice. And as far as this section, I'll look around further on the other on this uh, the north side, but the the south and east side looks accomplished. One of the things I really uh, liked is uh, we requested uh, or it was in the draw to frame in a sliding glass door uh, on that back side. Yeah, I think they did a great job. Yeah, and you know it, it really looks nice because it makes the garage appear much more secure. It does than having a flimsy sliding door over there on that side with some uh, some really dangerous wooden steps. Yep. So I like how that opened up the backyard and really uh, made it look better. So they have that actually. She has a line item on here. It says frame and slider on garage. They did. That's a three hundred and fifty dollar. Would you say that's complete? I would say that's complete. Okay, so we'll go ahead and check that off. And uh, they also, with doing that, had to repair the siding on the garage. But, uh, no indications of any damage from this vantage point. Okay. Yeah, great curtain. You know, still need to paint that front door, but overall, the curb appeal is significant. Looks great. Uh, repair siding on garage. It's finished good. So would good. you say that the repair siding on garage is, is fully completed? I'm going to say that is fully completed. Okay. Fully completed from the exterior uh, uh, visual of it. Uh, they have uh, com uh, completed what is on this on this phase inspection for the garage. Okay. Um, Let's see, so paint, garage, body, and trim, that was a $2,000 line item. Are we 100% on that? Yes. Okay. All right, so here's what we've got. Let me understand if this is what you have. We're going to release $2,000 on the paint, garage, body, and trim line item. We're going to release $800 for 50% completion on the paint, trim only on house. We're going to full release the full frame and slider on garage for $350 and we're going to release the full repair siding on garage 425. Correct. Okay. So, again, we're going to remove the $75 because we can't verify that. So what I have here, it looks like we're going to do uh, $3,025. $3,025. Of a $3,900 draw request. Okay. That, look, that looks good. Okay. Yep. The only, the only uh, on this draw was uh, the trim not being finished on this on this package. Okay. So again, for those of you watching from home, had this been your property, 
uh, you would now uh, be contacting our office at Kogo Corporate. Uh, we would then be waiting on Shay's report. We'd receive it within three to four days. Mm -hmm. Upon review and receipt and his recommendation of the release amounts, we would then cut a check for $3,025. Now, Shay, obviously there's no reason for us to go on the inside because there's nothing N here nothing, related to the draw request. Yep, nothing to look at. I guess uh, uh, the only thing we maybe want to look at is frame and slider on the garage. We could go in and look at the framing if it was exposed. Okay, Shay. So uh, as you can see, man, they did a great job uh, redoing the siding over that sliding door that was there. Looks real good. Uh, but one of the bids says frame in slider. Now, mm -hmm. what we can't see from here is did they just take this siding and run it across the door? Or did they actually frame in the opening? Because that was a pretty big opening for that there sliding was, door. Yeah. So um, I suppose we have to go in and take some photos of the frame job. Yeah, let's go inside right. and take a look at the framing. All right, I will follow you. Okay. Yeah, it's really important, you guys, that you we verify that all of the work is done. And just so you know, it's really easy for contractors to cover stuff up and just slap Bondo or stucco on it. So we want to make sure that the work's been done properly. All right. Boy, they still got some work to do on this garage, don't they? Well, as, as far as our, our inspection today, Lee, we're not going to be looking at any of the other items, okay. just our items on the list. Okay, and I think that's important. I want to mention that for our home viewers. Uh, what you just heard Chase say is, yes, there's still a lot of problems here in the garage, um, but they're not part of this release, so we're not going to make an issue out of them. We're just going to look at the work that they that you were requesting we pay for. So let's stay focused on the framing. Okay. Yeah, they uh, framed her up, and uh, looks like they did a good job. I would definitely say that is a is complete as far as uh, framing goes. They didn't say anything about finishing it off, and I'm gonna say that's probably gonna be on the next request when they do the garage yeah. sheetrocking and insulating and finishing. Okay. All right, so we can check off that they did indeed frame in the slider on the garage, okay? Excellent. All right, well, let's go um, make sure that they got the front of the garage painted, and it uh, looks like we're about done. Okay. Okay. The front or the yeah. sides over here. Well, we'll just stay with what we've had. Okay, so lastly, Shay, it looks like uh, paint, garage, body, and trim. So we saw the south side. We're now standing on the east side. And um, we've already checked the other two sides. They looked good. So uh, everything looks to be in order. Can we check off that the uh, paint, garage, body, and trim light item is done? I think it's uh, done at 100%. Okay, excellent. From what I can tell, it looks like as far as these dry requests are concerned, we, we're done here. Uh, so now at this point, for you, the investor, for the investor on this particular property, the next step now is go on with the next line items of completion. And I believe what they're working on now, um, they're actually going to do some demo on the inside. Okay. They're going to tear out a couple of walls, put up a new uh, bearing wall, yep. yeah, expand the master bedroom, uh, and then they're also going to have the upstairs bedrooms repainted, reframed. So I anticipate that our next line item draw request is going to be for about nine to $10,000. Okay. And uh, I guess we'll be seeing you here uh, in the, the next inside. two or three weeks yeah. as we go through the inside. Sounds great. Okay. Well, Shay, great job. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Thanks Appreciate for coming it. along. Appreciate it very much. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Okay. Okay. Now, for those of you at home, as I said, next steps. Get your contractor in here now. Now, the other thing is it's okay if you have crews here working when the inspector comes in to inspect the line items that are completed. But I can't stress enough the importance of making sure that the line items are 100% done uh, prior to getting us out here. Otherwise, you're going to get less funds than you need. And if you've made promises to contractors, suppliers, material men, you need to make sure that you get all or the full draw and if, if the work's not done, we just can't release it. So I'm excited to come back here in the next couple of weeks as we continue to see the progress on this property. Until then, we'll see you soon.